All right, this is Uncle Jam back at it with another resource pack video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to change the formatting for text in the game, as well as add in your very own custom language, which as you can see, I have added in here entitled Slick Rick language. And if I click it, we'll wait for it to load and we can notice that I have already a strike through on single player. If I head into my test world here and I highlight over some of these blocks here, we'll also notice I have changed some of the coloring. So you can see stone is gray, granite's red, red. We have diorite, which we cannot see. We have this one in italics and this one is rainbow colored. So I'm going to be showing you how to do all of this text formatting as well as change the name of any of these blocks and create your very own custom language. So let's get into it. All right, so let's get into it. We're gonna start off by showing you how to create your very own custom language in the game, and then we'll get into all of the formatting codes. So to start off, we wanna head into our resource pack folder. If you don't know how to get here, check out episode one in my resource pack series. Then we're gonna head into assets, into Minecraft, and into a folder entitled Lang. Now inside of this folder, what you should see are the languages that you use in Minecraft. So if you've only used one language, like I have, you should only see one language file. If you've used more than one language, then you should see more than one language file. Now, if you wanna grab a new language, what you have to do is head in game, make sure you load the language so it will download to your computer, then you have to follow the steps that we covered in episode one to locate your Minecraft folder and head into the versions and your specified version. And you have to locate the new assets folder and grab your new language that has downloaded. Once again, just check out episode one to see how to get to that folder. Now we need to decide which of these languages we want to base our new custom language off of. So I'm going to base it off of this one here, which is the US English language. And so what I'm going to do is just duplicate this file here. There we go. We have a duplicate. Now we need to rename it and we want to make sure that it is a dot lang because it's a dot language file. And up here, we need to select what language it's going to be based off of and which country. So I'm going to keep it an English language. So we're going to use EN. You could do any two letter code there. And now we want to say what country. Now I'm not going to actually refer to a country here. I'm going to refer to just a arbitrary name such as something like dollar bill. So we will type DB. So that will refer to English dollar bill dot lang. Now I just made that up. So keep that in mind. Now. Let's head inside of this language file and there's a couple things we have to edit. So I'm gonna open this up with a image, with a text editing software. On Mac, I'm gonna use text edit and on Windows, you can use notepad. So let me open that up with text edit. So here it is opened up with text edit. And as you can see, because this is a duplicate of the US English language, we have at the top here a couple parameters. Now, all of these are telling the game what text to display for g various moments in the game. So up here, we just wanna focus on these top three values here, the language name, region, and code. So the language name we have as English. So I can change this to anything I want. So I will change it to dollar bill speak. Speak like so. The region we have was the country dollar bill. Keep in mind, I'm just making this up now. That is just an example. And the language code we need to change to the exact same code that we specified in its name, which as you can see is ENDB. So we're gonna change the language code to ENDB. Make sure when you're making your language codes, you have no capitals or spaces within the language code. There we go, we'll hit save. Now we're almost set up to enable our custom language. So at this time, you can now go and edit any of these 
language options here that you want. Now, if you we check down the document here, what you'll notice is it tells you every every piece of text in the game. So here is menu.game is called game menu. So you just want to change everything after the equals sign. And if we scroll down, it is quite the massive document and it has every single piece of text in the game in this document here, besides a couple of the splashes. So we can see if we wanted to change the entity villager name, we could just rename it here. So we will cover that in a second when I demonstrate the color codes and formatting codes. All right, so I've gone ahead and edited single player to play alone. There we go, we'll hit save. And now we have our new language here in our language folder in our resource pack. Now we need to enable this language file. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna back out all the way into our resource pack home folder where we have our assets, our pack, and our pack.mc meta, which once again, we covered in episode one. So we need to actually edit our pack.mc meta document. So I'm gonna pop it open here, and you can see this was the text that we covered back in episode one. Now, what we need to do is we need to add some additional text into this pack.mc meta to tell the game that we have a custom language. Now, if you check the description below, you will see a bit of text that I grabbed from the Minecraft wiki, which you can copy and paste into your document that will allow you to enable custom languages. So let me do that now. So there we go, I've pasted in my text. Now, one quick thing I wanna note, this is for Mac users only. If you're using text edit, head into text edit, preferences, make sure you hit open and save and change the encoding to Western Windows Latin 1. Otherwise, it will not work for you. This pack.mc meta will not work. So now we have in our new piece of code. However, we need to edit some of these parameters. So obviously the description of our pack here is called resource pack sample. We can change that to anything we want. So I'm just gonna change it to dollar bill language. And now under lang, we have lang underscore country. Now this is where we need to put our code that we made earlier. Now, if you remember, mine was en underscore db. So we type that our code in there, no capitals or spaces that we specified earlier. And now we can type in the name of our language and the region that we specified earlier. So my name was dollar bill speak. And my region was dollar bill. There we go, bi-directional, that means if you want to read it backwards, which we don't want to read, or both directions, or something along the lines of that. I'm not 100% sure, but we're gonna leave it at false for now and hit save. So now we should be good to head in game and see if our pack worked out. All right, so here I am back in game. I'm gonna head into the languages here, and we will start scrolling down. There we go, as you can see, we have dollar bill speak from the country dollar bill and if we click it it will take a minute to load up all of the custom things we should see single player changed to play alone so that's how you create a custom language you can once again edit any of those language files now let's get into the color code and formatting codes all right so here i am back in my dollar bill language file and i'm going to show you how to edit some of those formatting codes that i was showing off earlier now, one important thing that you need is this little tiny character here that I just typed at the top of the screen. Now, I'm not sure what this is called. However, on my keyboard, how you type it is Alt and six. So I hope you can figure out how to type that on your keyboard. And if not, I suggest heading down to the description and I'll have one of those there and you can copy it and paste it in your documents because we're gonna need this little character in order to enter all of these formatting codes. Now, as you see from the images on the screen, we have all of the different colors as well as a few formatting codes there. 
Now it is pretty simple to edit these in. Now you can actually edit these in any text within Minecraft. So even in game, in books and on fences, I believe, and things like that, if you enter these codes, they will appear these various things. I'm not 100% sure about fences, although I know books work for sure. So let's just edit up some of these game menu options here again because it's pretty easy to see. So you see we have play alone. So how to enter these in is you wanna put your character down or you wanna first select which one you wanna do. So let's do um, the underline. So we will put our little code and then we'll put the character that follows, which in that case is an N. So there we go. Now play alone will be underlined. So you just enter it in right before, no spaces in between, and then it will be underlined. If you want to change the color, so let's say multiplayer, we want to change to be light purple. We're going to type in our little character again there. And then we're going to put a D. So it's just as simple as that. That's how you ed enter in those codes. And keep in mind, they can be done with any text. So let me save up the document. There we go. And also, let me just back out here and I will edit some of the splash textures. So if we head into the folder entitled texts, you see we have credits, end, and splashes. So credits and end, these are the, the files that will display when you beat the game and you head through the end portal. Splashes are the orange little or the yellow piece of text that displays on the main menu. So these are all of them. So it will randomize between all of these texts here and you can just edit them. So let's say we'll say demo splash here and we will change the color to we'll say gold. So that's a six. And we will also underline it as well because you can do more than one of these at once. So we'll just put another one and we will put underline or maybe we'll put strike through. So we'll put an M. So it's gonna be gold and it's gonna be have a strike right through it and it's gonna say demo splash. We'll hit save. So now we have our custom language as well as a custom splash. So let's head back in game and see how it looks. All right, so here I am back in game. And as you can see, we have our splash appearing there. That's gold with the uh, strike through. We have multiplayer that's pink and we have play alone that is underlined. So that's how you edit your text. And keep in mind, you can do that for any text in the game, anything in that language file and anything in those splash or end dot text, as well as in books and other things like that. So that was a quick one there. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Hope it can help you out with your packs. And we will see you in the next one.